I'm Alicia and this is my first instructional video on YouTube and today I'm going to show you how to collapse the Bing Q pram by swallow. So there's four things you need to do before you can collapse it. The first is to retract the hood. The second is to make sure that the seat is reclined flat. The third is to have the wheel at the front of the pram in front of the pram frame. So at the moment you can see my wheel is tucked under the pram frame. I need to unlock the pram, give it a little jiggle to get that wheel in front of the frame of the pram. If the wheel doesn't move, it means it's locked. So you need to unlock it. There's a little lever underneath the uh, front part of the pram here. It does swivel, so it could be behind or in front of the wheel frame. So you just need to flick it around and then you will become unlocked. So it's moved back and forth. The fourth thing that you need to do to collapse the pram is to make sure that it's locked, so just use the foot brake. Okay, now we're ready to collapse the pram. Um, there's some little circles on each side of the pram here. That's what I put my middle fingers into. And on the right side, there's a button just above that little circle, and that's what you need to press to release the frame into the unlocked position. So to collapse it, I put my middle fingers in those circles. I put my tummy against the handle of the frame here for a bit of leverage and for a bit of extra leverage I put my foot on the brake. So when you're ready to collapse it, press the button and give it with your middle fingers those little circles a really good yank. Now the frame's released so we can collapse it like that. Now the reason that we had to make sure that the wheel at the front is unlocked is because you can bend it down like that just to give yourself a bit more room in the back of the car. Now to put it into the car, you want this side, so the flat side, to lay down in the back of the car. You don't want to flip it over and have it wheel down because then it's all wonky and takes up too much space. So the most efficient way is this flat side here is the part I'm going to put down in the pram. So give yourself a bit of a kick to lift it up and place it in the back of the car. So that's how you collapse it. This is how it fits in the back of the Ford Territory, just for your information. So thanks for watching and good luck.